Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do, um, you know, basically the argument um, matchers uh, feature of Mokito. And uh, the argument matchers is basically a way that uh, Mokito allows you to, uh, you know, basically match, um, you know, the arguments that the actual arguments that are passed to your mocks to either on the, in the context of a verification or stubbing. So, um, you know, enough talk. Let me actually show you a few examples here. So um, I'm building on the previous lesson that we cover basic um, verification of behavior. And recall that we basically have this library service, which is implemented in terms of uh, a DAO. So the DAO is the object that actually does the work. Um, and the, this library at the moment, it is a very simple thing, just to illustrate features of Mokito. It has a method, has book with ID, which takes an int and returns a boolean, whether it has a book that matches that ID. And again, it utilizes the DAO to do the work. And it has another method, has book with topic and author, topic and author, and returns true whether the library contains that. And obviously this is just, you know, just a, um, a stubbed implementation that doesn't actually use the DAO. Anyway, so what I want to show you here is how to use the argument matchers, um, you know, either the built-ins and the custom ones that uh, Mokito supports. So the most fundamental thing you can do is, like I said, use the uh, any collection of matchers. So if you look at the, of the class in the argument matchers of Mokito, notice that we can match on, you know, any you can match on any class type or any of the uh, types that um, you know Java provides. So you know the, um, the floating point types like doubles and um, floats, or you know any of the primitive wrappers, bytes, chars, ints, and so on. And you can use you know maps and collections. So there is quite a lot of um, you know argument um, matchers that are you know, packaged with uh, Mokito that I, you know, strongly recommend that you uh, get familiar with. So, um, you know, so basically what I am using here is the any int, which is an, a matcher that you can use uh, in the cases where you're not interested in the actual uh, value, you're just interested that, you know, that the map pretty much that the method is called. So in this case, the method takes an int, so I'm using an any int. I don't care what the actual value is. I just want to test that this method is actually invoked. And recall that the has book with ID uh, method on the library uses the DAO, calls the fetch book by ID DAO to determine whether or not, you know, this book with this ID exists in the library. So if I run this method, then I am expecting it to pass. Okay, so that's one type of uh, argument matcher that you can utilize. So the other one is uh, obviously, you know, this is Java 8. So we can use, um, if I can expand this, yes, that's lovely. So this one is uh, one that uses lambdas. So you can be more specific in your argument matcher and you can say not only I want to uh, verify that this uh, method was called, but it was invoked with, you know, a specific value. So again, because, um, you know, this method takes an int, I'm using a argument, uh, you know, to match, you know, to do some, um, you know, lambda here implementation. I'm just checking that the argument is actually equal to 42, you know, using a, a lambda expression. So it's obviously a you know, contrived example. I can do something much more simple and just say equals to 42, right? This is perfectly equivalent, but it's just to illustrate that you can use, um, you know, a built-in, um, uh, sorry, not a built-in, you can use a Lambda uh, matcher expression, right? Just in place here, instead of actually, you know, um, uh, if you don't want to use the built-in argument matcher. So let's run this method that actually uh, uses a lambda expression. 
and notice that it passes. Obviously, you know, if I were to use another value, then obviously it would fail. Right. And usually, you know, Mokito is pretty uh, descriptive in the error messages. That's one thing I really like about this um, mocking library. And you can see that, you know, it actually tells you that um, the arg actual argument that was passed was different than what you were expecting. Okay. So it's usually by just reading the error message, you can get a very quickly the idea of what's, what's wrong. So this method, like I said, it's, you know, uh, the simple, you know, equality matcher. And as you can see, passes. So in this um, example here, I am, I would like to show you how to, um, you know, essentially uh, do an argument matcher for, uh, you know, the cases where you're passing null. So recall that has book with ID method here does a um, argument validation. And if it's null, you know, then it throws an illegal argument exception with a descriptive message. Uh, and it does this validation obviously before, you know, delegating the work to the um, DAO. So, you know, with implementations like that, you might want to write a test that, you know, verifies this behavior, i.e. that if you pass an illegal value, uh, like in this in null, for instance, then that the uh, you know the the exception uh, is thrown. So that's basically what I'm stubbing here. So I'm I'm uh, I'm creating the mock and then I'm testing. I'd like to test that if I call my has book uh, with ID, you know, again with any int, then uh, you know throw the legal argument exception. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually you know do the call of null and see if I expect, you know, and, and assert that the uh, exception is thrown and it's of illegal argument exception. So let's run this method and see what happens, what, what, what we're doing wrong here. So notice that the test fails and it fails with the error message saying expect illegal argument exception to be thrown, but nothing was thrown. Okay. So now let's find out why this is. So the problem is here on the argument matcher any int. So because uh, you know any um, the any family of argument matches you know does a um, you know a type check against the class. If you pass null, then uh, you know this will basically not work. So every time you're trying to do this kind of tests where you know you're trying to test for nulls and so on, and use any of the any matchers, then you have to convert this to um, to the is null matcher. Um, so now let's with this change run this method and see what we get. So notice that now it passes. Okay. So this is one of the got gotchas of um, of uh, Mokito. So another one is the a case where you have multiple, um, you know, a method that has multiple um, parameters. And you know this is just a simple implementation that returns true. So this is just to illustrate the case where uh, you know there's another gotcha here. So I am uh, stubbing this method, and what I'm doing is if this method is called with any uh, you know uh, topic, and I'm trying to say with you know with an author uh, with Joshua Block as an author, right? Then return true. Okay, this is how I'm stubbing the method, and with this stub when I actually invoke the method with a, with any topic, with say computing and Joshua block, then I'm expecting the method to return true. Actually to make this more interesting, let's say return false. Um, so let's do a third false. Okay. Uh, I'm just changing the type because, uh, you know, internally, uh, well, it's being stubbed, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just run this and see what what's going on here. So notice that we have another uh, error here. And again, Mokito is pretty descriptive in the uh, error messages. And it basically tells us that there is an invalid use of argument matchers. It says that two matchers expected, but one is recorded. Okay. And then it tells us again, a very descriptive, you know, um, that's one thing about Mokito. It tells us the error but then it gives us a you know a solution uh, for this type of error, and it tells us you know that um, when we're using matchers, all argument matchers have to be provided. Okay, 
So and notice that this is exam exactly the issue that we have in this example. It's another gotcha. So I am stubbing this method. I'm using an argument matcher for the first argument, but I'm not using an argument matcher for the second um, you know, argument. Okay? So this is the problem. So to fix this, we have to use an argument matcher for the second uh, you know, argument. So in this case, we can just put you know, equals. We can just use the equals uh, matcher, and that should fix the problem. So let's run this and see what we get. So as you can see, it passes. So the last thing I want to show you in terms of argument matchers that are utilized for both stubbing and verification in Mokito is custom argument matchers. So I've showed you the built-in matchers, uh, you know, examples that utilize the built-in matchers. But, um, you know, I hinted at the, when I show you the custom lambdas, um, you know, using the lambdas as argument matcher, this is essentially a custom matcher that you are writing. You know, obviously, in this case, you can just use the built-in matcher, it's pretty equivalent. But what I wanted to, what I was trying to highlight here is that you can use your own custom matcher. And this lambda is obviously, you know, an implementation of the argument matcher, which is the example that I'm going to show you here. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is um, implement my argument, implement the um, the argument matcher interface, okay? When you want to write your own custom matcher. And notice that this argument matcher interface uses a type uh, parameter for the type of argument. So because I want to um, uh, mock the, um, you know, the library service has book with ID, and this uh, method takes an integer, then I'm going to use, you know, a type here, which is an integer. Okay, so let me implement this um, class. Okay, so um, this is the basically the method that you have to implement. So let's write some basic matcher here for it. So I want to make sure that the argument is, um, you know, not null and is positive. Argument is greater than zero. Okay, so that's the basic implementation of a custom argument matcher. <coughs> And um, one last thing that you can do is you can implement a toString method. And the toString method is the um, error message, uh, custom error message that Mokito prints in case a verification fails. Um, so in this case, I would like to, um, you know, print that the ID must be a positive uh, integer, okay, in case my verification fails. And I might go one step further and maybe capture the argument here, um, you know, here in this method, this argument. So I can capture the argument here and um, enhance my uh, verification error message with, uh, you know, with this uh, value. So, uh, okay. And obviously, I'm going to put an argument here. Okay, so now we have our custom matcher that does the valid asserts that the argument needs to be a positive integer, and in case the verification fails, it actually tells us, you know, that the actual value has to be a positive integer. Okay, so now that we have our argument matcher, uh, let's implement a method that uses it. So let's mock the um, library service uh, service. Okay, so that's our mock. And basically, you know, let's do some basic uh, verification here. So I want to verify that, um, you know, that when my library has book with ID is called with an argument that, um, you know, uh, let's instantiate my argument matcher. Then I want to assert that. So if this method is called with this book ID, and it's a valid argument. Okay. So now let me service uh, has book with ID. And let's call first with a valid value and see what happens. So basically, I'm verifying that um, you know my method as book in ID is called with an argument that is um, you know a valid. To make this thing more uh, you know readable, let's extract a method called is valid. Just to make this you know this verification uh, you know more readable. So verify that the service mock uh, when it is called with an argument that is valid, right? then it you know it works so obviously here 
I'm invoking it with a valid argument. So this test should pass, as you can see. So obviously if I pass in a value, like a negative value, which is invalid, then my verification should fail. And notice that the error message, the custom error message that we implemented in the toString method, it's actually being printed here. Okay. So, um, you know, obviously for argument matchers, you can use verification or you can also use stubbing. So, for example, I could have said when my service, you know, method has book with ID is invoked with an argument that is valid, right? Then return, uh, then return, uh, you know, true. Okay. So that's one thing I can do. And then, uh, you know, obviously, let me do an assertion, assert true that service um, has book with ID with a value 42. Okay, that this is true. And uh, let me just clean up this stuff here. All right, so that's what um, we're going to do. And we can write another assertion, uh, you know, assert that false if it's invoked with minus 42. Okay, so let's run this method and see what happens. So notice that it passes. Okay, so um, this is basically all of the examples, you know, the basic examples in uh, Mokito in terms of argument matches using built in argument matches for stubbing and verification, as well as rolling your own, you know, argument matcher, custom argument matcher. So obviously, now that I have a custom argument matcher. Uh, you know, in, in, in Java, um, you know, 8 or, or greater, I don't have to actually implement, you know, a, um, an interface. So if I were to do test, them, test um, you know, um, let's call test uh, custom arg matcher with lambda, right? So I obviously don't have to, you know, go to the trouble of implementing my interface here. I could have just captured implementation of the method and stick it here in, um, you know, in a lambda here, right? So I could have just written arg, it's my argument, and then I can just do, you know, argument not null and argument not zero, and this would be, you know, completely equivalent with much less boilerplate code, right? As you can see, okay? But, you know, obviously sometimes, uh, you know, you may want to extract this into a method, uh, especially if it starts getting a bit more, you know, complex, okay? So this concludes the lesson on argument matchers in Mokito. Thanks for watching.